Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We're taking a look now at question number 11. Uh, this is the very first question in Part B on the 2004 Pascal. And it's got a very interesting looking diagram here. Uh, in the diagram, square ABCD has a side length of 4. What is the total area of the shaded regions, these blacked out regions? Hmm, okay. So I noticed that we've got a bunch of right angles here. And that's kind of key to this question. Now, I don't know how this, uh, this particular square has been divided. No one does. Okay? Uh, I, I doubt they actually had numbers in mind when they were doing this. It doesn't matter exactly how it's cut, or it's sort of what lengths it was cut at. All that matters, really, are these right angles here. I'll show you why. I think this is really clever. I think this is probably worth more than just uh, question 11, because a lot of people would say, ah, oh, there's not enough information here. So let's take a look. How did they arrive at the figure they've got in the picture? So we have our, our square here, side lengths 4 and 4, the square. And then what they did is they sort of just chopped it up into, we can tell from the right angles, that we've got rectangles here. Okay, we have rectangles. We can give these rectangles names. A, B, C, and D. I don't know what uh, their lengths are. I don't know, you know, are they proportional to what or, or anything like that. Doesn't matter. Because what we've got are these rectangles. And we know that they add up to the area of the, the square. A plus B plus C plus D equals area. And that's going to be, it's an area of a square, so it's 4 squared, 16. Okay. To get the, the picture that we've got, you know, this picture with all these triangles, they just chopped each of these rectangles in half. Okay? That's all that they did. So each of these is really, I mean, this one here is half of D, half of B, and so on. So the sum of the triangles I mean each of the triangles we have a half A for the top uh, left triangle, then a half B, and a half C, and a half D. But really we just factor out a half here, and that's A plus B plus C plus D, and I already know what that is. It's 16. So the shaded region is just a half of 16, and that's 8. And I think that was D. Was that? It was D? No, it was B. There. So B, 8. I just think that's a, a nifty-looking picture there, too. Okay. So that was question number 11, and in the next video, we're going to take a look at question number 12.